What is up guys in today's video we're going to be watching the fortnite chapter 4 season 4 trailer because this dropped a day earlier than typical usually the trailer drop like a few hours before the season starts but this came out really early and there's a lot of information in this trailer that indicates kind of what will be in next season and if the leaks we had in the past were true or false so we're going to watch the trailer i'm going to point out some things that you may have missed or like some secrets also some nods to fortnite's past as always if you guys do find this video helpful informative interesting remember to give it a like subscribe if you like to see more and if you would like to use me for support a creator in the item shop when getting next season's battle pass my code is evolve jake just like my channel name is and that'd be much appreciated. Also, I'm going to be doing lots of V-Buck giveaways on my Twitch. The link will be down in the description below as the new season starts. And as I'm streaming, like, you know, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, days on, be giving away a lot of V-Bucks. I got a lot of these cards. Unfortunately, I can't really do giveaways on YouTube because there's no way to message people on YouTube. So a majority of the giveaways you see on YouTube are just not real. But Twitch has a messaging system, so... I will be giving them away. So we're going to watch the trailer, and then after we watch it, I'm going to go ahead and slow it down, and then we'll watch it again, and I'll kind of point out a lot of things. Got the eclipse going on to start. And so that is the trailer for Fortnite Last Resort. Looks really, really good. I'm actually like super excited for the season. I think this trailer was really well done. This is also a look at the battle pass. Go ahead and talk about that first. We got this buff fish stick skin. Kind of like a nod to Meowsles, I, I think. And that's kind of funny because a lot of people were reminded of Chapter 2 Season 2 with this season. And that was actually the season that introduced Meowsles. Got this anime lady. We have Cabby Lame, I believe is how this guy's name is pronounced. He's a famous TikToker. Um, he's actually the most followed person on TikTok. I saw a lot of people saying that, like, he's some irrelevant random person. He's the most popular person on TikTok. Pretty crazy. I feel like also this this meme emote, regardless of how you feel about him, I feel like this is going to be good to describe a lot of plays you see in Fortnite. We got this lady. This is probably my favorite skin in the Battle Pass. This guy is Kato Thorn, the collector, and it turns out he's actually, like, some sort of vampire. There was previously a vampire boss that was leaked. And it is going to be Kato Thorn. He's also a time traveler. This guy, you know, good solid skin. Another solid lady. And then we also have Ashoka from Star Wars, I believe is how you say her name. So overall, I think it's a pretty solid battle pass. I personally don't really care too much about skins. But I think they did a good job with this one. I think Kato Thorn vampire guy is cool. This skin I think is really good. Um, this guy's good. Um, and yeah, so now we're going to go ahead and watch it. Little slow down and I'm going to point out. Wait, can you not slow it down? Okay, I'm going to point out something as they happen. Maybe you should mute it for this because the sound is going to be weird. So first of all, we have the eclipse going on. We have this new POI. This might actually be too slow. But we have this new POI, and this is actually replacing Citadel. You can tell that it's in, like, the, you know, medieval biome. And then I think also this mountain is near Citadel. Uh, and it was previously leaked that this would be replacing Citadel. So that makes sense. And that is going to be one of the new POIs. There are several, though, which we'll get to later on. This time machine is very interesting. So, Kato Thorn comes through the time machine carrying Oro's head. And the time machine date is actually set to when that skin initially came out into Fortnite. So, that's like a pretty cool kind of like reference to that. 
Um, Oro is like a somewhat important character in the storyline. I think he's the one who gave Midas his golden touch ability. Another really interesting thing about the time machine is through the Optimus Prime quests in season three, I believe they say something along the lines of like the key to your future lies in the past. So it's very likely this time machine will have something to do with the storyline next season and or, you know, the, the end of season four. A lot of people hear that. They see a time machine and they're like, oh, my God, we're going back to chapter one map. Maybe, maybe not. But time travel, you know, is a part of the game now. Also, he's holding a katana. It may or may not be the kinetic blade. Uh, a lot of people see this and they think, oh my gosh, the kinetic blade is coming back. It may very well just be a back bling. You see it on his back here later. It, it, it looks similar to the kinetic blade though. It's a futuristic katana. It's definitely meant to make you think the kinetic blade is returning, you know? Um, is there anything here? This is a new twin mag assault rifle, I think. So it'll likely function somewhat similar to the twin mag SMG. Or maybe this is a scoped SMG. There's a scoped SMG that was revealed in this trailer and a twin mag assault rifle. I'm thinking that might be the SMG. He goes to put Oro's head in his collection, which later we'll get a better look at this collection area. But he's got Oro's head. He's got the mythic goldfish. He's got a golden peely. He's got an egg here, which a lot of people think is an egg for llamas. Uh, um, I think it shows a llama on it later on in the trailer for like a brief frame. There's the victory crown. There's the drum gun. Okay, yeah, see, the egg has a llama on it. So a lot of people think this is, you know, the start of llamas. The drum gun. And then this is where we get a better look at all the different POIs that will be coming next season. There's at least three. There will likely be some other changes on the map as well, you know, like minor little spots. But these are going to be the three main POIs that we have. These are, you know, the people getting ready to do the heist and then steal something from Kato Thorne's collection. Again, you can kind of see that it's likely this is in the Citadel area because Mega City is on like the other side of the map of it. And then this is like the jungle here. So th again, this is just showing that this new location is replacing like the, th the Citadel, Breakwater Bay, that kind of area. Pizza may or may not be returning. This might be where we get a better look at. I think this is the SMG. This, those skins are cool, I think, too. Suppressed pistol, likely returning. He eliminates some players with it or some of the henchmen with it. And then everybody pulls through. So you see on the cameras, everybody running into the vault. But also what you see on this right camera here is going to be Bunker Jonesy. And this could be the Bunker Jonesy snapshot that he is imprisoned. Or it could just be the actual Jonesy. And he just now starts to resemble Bunker Jonesy. I think it's more likely it's just the Bunker Jonesy snapshot. This here she throws, I think this is called a shield breaker grenade in here, and it also EMPs the area. So this will likely be helpful when going through these areas. In Chapter 2, Season 2, we had henchmen controlled POIs, and there was like cameras that would spot you. And if you were near the cameras for too long, all the henchmen would become aggro to you and come to your area. So the shield breaker grenade will likely be helpful for disabling some of those cameras, but it may also you know, disable opponent shields or maybe just their over shields. I'm not really sure how this is going to work. A grenade that just breaks people's shields sounds very broken. If it just like AOE destroys all shields in the area, you know. And then that also deactivates the lasers. So this lady is able to walk through. And this is actually the backpack minigun, I think, that was previously leaked. She throws it down and it becomes a turret. And then it starts taking out these people. Um... I've seen a lot of people say this is going to be very broken and overpowered based on what is shown in the trailer, but I expect this to be more tame by comparison. A lot of things look broken in the trailer, you know? It's just the way it goes with video game trailers. But maybe some sort of, like, automated turret you can put down. This is, I think, called the rocket ram. It's some sort of battering ram type thing that he uses to break through the vault door. Likely will be something that allows you to break structures and maybe lunge forward. This could be and end up being some form of mobility. Um, we'll have to see. And like we had with like the shockwave hammer and the kinetic blade, it might end up having multiple uses. And this is just one of them, you know. But this will likely be very good for breaking cover. They get into the vault. This is the emote, and like people, like I said, people are hating on him, but like this emote. Imagine you fight someone that's trying way too hard. You just easily outplay them and then you hit this. I, I feel like that is going to be a, a nice little like toxic emote. And so they come into the vault. We have the Midas drum gun, mythic flopper, 
victory crown. Not really sure how this pertains to gameplay, but it's very, very likely that the mythic drum gun will be returning, and this weapon is a menace if you guys played in chapter one or when it was in the game in chapter two. Um, the, the, the original drum gun was in the game in chapter two. This was like the mythic version that was just a little bit better. But even the, in chapter one, the original drum gun was just incredibly good. So I expect this to be a very good weapon unless they heavily nerf it. And then now I think this is where we get a better look at some of the, uh, here's the llama egg again. I think this is where we get a better look at some of the weapons. And this is like kind of what I was talking about before when I talked about some of like the leaked weapons that were updated recently and like the leaked mythics that were updated recently. You see within his collection, he has so many iconic like items from Fortnite's past. So I think we definitely will see some returning mythics and some like iconic weapons from Fortnite's past. But I also think it's possible that some of those were just like, a, going to be a part of his collection like the zapatron specifically i would be very surprised if they put that in the game and this is where kato thorn makes his reveal that he is like the vampire boss that was previously leaked um is that it okay uh i want to show some things on screen now that i missed in the trailer but i've seen other people post them also everything i've talked about in this video is not necessarily things i discovered it's just like i follow a bunch of leakers and news accounts on twitter um and when i make videos like this breaking down a lot of that stuff a lot of people you know like it or find it helpful because they don't have time to follow every news account of fortnite and, and kind of keep up to date with things you know so that is why i like making videos like this like people tell me that it's helpful for them and it's also just fun to speculate talk about what's going to be in the new season because we rarely get the trailers like this this early um, here's the key art for next season. And so we have this new car. Looks like he's holding like some sort of C4 here. Uh, C4 was previously leaked to be returning. And then I think this is going to be the twin mag AR. There's a henchman with a suppressed pistol here. And then there's also a new shotgun that's shown there. I will try to find a better image of it real quick. I did not have this prepared. I thought I was going to be able to find it easily. Um, okay, here we go. So this is the new infiltrator shotgun. Again, it's very blurry because it was just taken from the background of that other image that we were looking at. But from this trailer... We learned about the new battering ram thing, potential katana returning, Midas drum gun returning pretty much confirmed, new SMG, new AR, suppressed pistol returning, um, that shield grenade, the deployable turret thing. There's a lot that was shown in this trailer if you kind of break it down and slow it down like I did, or if you just follow every kind of Fortnite news source there is. But that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys found this helpful, informative, interesting. I am very excited for this season. I think this is the most excited I've been for a new Fortnite season in a while. It seems very promising. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Um, also, anything else that was in the trailer that I missed, comment that. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.